Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to my newfound self formulated with respect of the 12 step program of AA program of Limer and Synonymous. Lima, a 12 step program. I'm Carol and I'm Limerant. Limerant Synonymous Lima is a fellowship of individuals who share their experiences, strength, and hope with each other to solve their common problem of limerence. Limerence is characterized by an intense romantic attraction that can lead to obsessive thoughts and behaviors. Our primary purpose is to help ourselves and others find emotional balance and spiritual growth through the support of a higher power, which we choose to call God. We believe that through the practice of these 12 steps, we can achieve healing and understanding in our relationships. Not everybody believes in God, but I am the founder of Lima. I believe in God. I beg your pardon. You can believe in whatever higher power you want. The 12 Steps of Limerence Anonymous 1. We admitted we were powerless over our limerent feelings that our lives had become unmanageable. We recognize that our obsession with another person has taken control over our thoughts and actions. 2. We came to believe that a power greater than ourselves could restore us to sanity. We open ourselves to the possibility of divine intervention, trusting in God's ability to guide us toward healthier relationships. 3. We made a decision to turn our will and our lives over to the care of God as we understood Him. We commit ourselves to seeking God's guidance in all aspects of our lives, especially regarding our feelings of limerence. 4. We made a searching and fearless moral inventory of ourselves. We take time for self-reflection, examining the underlying causes of our limerent feelings and recognizing patterns in our behavior. Five, we admitted to God, to ourselves, and to another person, the exact nature of our wrongs. By sharing our struggles with someone we trust, we begin the process of healing through honesty and vulnerability. Six, we are entirely ready to have God remove all these defects of character. We prepare ourselves for change by acknowledging the aspects of ourselves that contribute to unhealthy attachments. 7. We humbly ask Him to remove our shortcomings. In prayer or meditation, we seek God's assistance in overcoming the traits that hinder our emotional well-being. I beg your pardon, I'm losing my place sometimes. 8. We made a list of all persons we had harmed and became willing to make amends to them all. Recognizing how our limerent behaviors may have affected others allows us to take responsibility for our actions. 9. We may direct amends to where, wherever possible, except when to do so would injure them or others. We reach out with sincerity and humility, offering apology or restitution where appropriate, while respecting boundaries. 10. We continue to take personal inventory, and when we were wrong, promptly admitted it. Ongoing self-assessment helps us stay aware of any returning patterns or behaviors re related to limerence. 11. We sought through prayer and meditation to improve our conscious contact with God as we understood Him, praying only for knowledge of His will for us and the power to carry that out. Regular spiritual practices help us align with God's purpose for us beyond romantic obsessions. 12. Having had a spiritual awakening as a result of these steps, we tried to carry this message to limerence and to practice these principles in all our, our affairs. Our journey inspires us not only towards personal recovery, but also encourages us to support others facing similar challenges. I'm Carol and I suffer from limerence. The Twelve Traditions of Limerence Anonymous Our common welfare should come first. Personal recovery depends upon Lima unity. Two, for our group purpose, there is but one ultimate authority, a loving God as he may express himself in our group conscience. Three, the only requirement for membership or for involvement in Lima is a desire to stop being limerent. There are no dues or fees, or there are no dues or fees for membership in Lima. Four, each group should be 
autonomous except in matters affecting other groups or Lima as a whole. However, we must remain true to the principles outlined here for collective healing purposes, and we cooperate with other 12-step programs and AA. 5. Each group has but one primary purpose, to carry its message to those who still suffer from limerence. Through sharing experience rooted in faith and recovery principles based on love rather than obsession or fear, thus fostering community support among members, seeking solace together under God's guidance. 6. A Lima group ought never endorse finance or lend its name without full consent from its members, lest problems arise due solely from outside influences which may detract from spiritual growth within. 7. Every Lima group ought always maintain its self-supporting through its own contributions, thus ensuring sustainability while remaining free from outside pressures. 8. Lima should remain forever non-professional, thus allowing members space freely, share, sharing their stories without judgment or expectation. 9. Lima, as such, has no opinion on outside issues, hence keeping focus solely on helping those struggling with limerent feelings. 10. Lima leaders are but trusted servants. I pledge to be a trusted servant. They do not govern. I shall not govern. I shall serve. Instead, they facilitate discussions rooted firmly within shared experiences. 11. Our public relations policy is based on attraction rather than promotion, thus preserving anonymity while encouraging openness amongst fellow seekers. 12. Anonymity is the spiritual foundation of our traditions, ever reminding us to place principles before personalities. Through this structured program grounded in spirituality, Limerence Anonymous aims not just at alleviating suffering caused by limerence, but also fostering deeper connections with oneself, others around them, and ultimately God. Thank you so much for letting me read you this. I am grateful to God and for the guidance. Limerence is painful, but there is hope. We cannot deal with it alone. We need God, we need our ch- and we need each other. Thank you. Blessings, peace. God bless you.